Hi gang, Scott here. In this video, I want to talk about the power of the color adjustment filter in On One Effects. Uh, this, this filter is great for doing quick and easy color pops to your photo. And in many cases, you don't even need to use some of the masking tools. You know, there, there's cases where I use it, and you'll see one example in this video. But because you're targeting certain colors, you often just need to turn the thing on pick the colors you want and, and move on to your next edit. And so I thought I'd walk through uh, this photo here because I used a series of three color adjustments on it just to kind of finish things up. So here, uh, I, I, if you've watched a couple of videos in the channel, you've seen the, the, the growth of this photo over time. And what I wanted to do is bring out the oranges in the rocks, the blues in the sky, and a little more greens in, uh, in the, the landscape there. And color adjustments are perfect for this. And so I'm going to walk up these... Uh, these things here. The first one, color adjustment. I'm going to turn this on and watch the rocks. Let's uh, see that pop there. Before, after. Let's go ahead and zoom in and kind of bring this over close to our area before and after. And just see how that, that rises up. And I'm using the fall style here, right? Because fall takes, you know, oranges, uh, or sorry, yellows makes them a little more orange, a little more saturated. And the oranges rise up. Well, in this photo, that's the rocks. I don't need to do any other masking. You see the results right away. So even though things are named like fall or foliage or things like that, think about them in terms of colors, right? I mean, there's there's a big hint <laughs> the, you, with the yellow circle here. This is what is going to uh, be affected. Things that have to do with oranges and yellows. So that was adjustment number one. Now moving on, let's open up number two, and you'll see foliage is selected. I'll turn that on, and this one's a, this one's a soft touch. Let's uh, let's look at this area of the greens down here in the, in the fields in the background, before and after, right? Just a nudge, right? Just a little bit to uh, to get more greens in this area of the photo, and that's where the greens are. You know, there's not much else happening. You know, before. And after, I can see a little bit in like this area of the rock where it has that you know greenish tinge to it, but it's not overpowering. It's not distracting to me. I find it pleasing, and I'm not going to go bother masking it. If I needed to, it'd be an easy enough mask, just you know, big old linear gradient to to, to cover the mountains. That was color adjustment number two. Number three is the sky, and I want the sky to be bluer, and you'll see that sky gets richer, bluer, you know, retreats into the scene. I did use a mask for this with Mask AI and said, pick the sky, paint in. I only want the sky affected. And why? There's quite a bit of a blue cast over the background with the haze there. And so for quickly, if I reset that mask, notice the impact out here and then undo I'm leaving that that as is. I liked that particular kind of um, like mist there. There's depth in this photo. This is close. This is uh, the next layer, then the next layer back, and so on, all the way out into infinity. So that was important to me. And leveraging Mask AI made that a very easy job to target it to just the sky. And the default was a little strong for me, so the opacity came down. But to, to sum those back up, you know, this is where I was with the photo before the color adjustments. The first two are kind of subtle. Oranges in the rocks, greens in the midground and background, and then the sky to retreat. But then all summed up, that really does add more to the image. And because this image has natural color boundaries, oranges in the foreground, greens in the midground, blues in the background, Adding depth through color with the color adjustments is a breeze. The The color adjustment filter lends itself very well to landscape scenes like this. But equally for other photos where you're needing to target colors and do it quickly, you may not need to reach for your masks. I'd, I'd say maybe the, the, the takeaway is, you know, apply the color adjustment without any masks, adjust its opacity, and just do a toggle on it. Double check and make sure it's not impacting things you don't like. Like in the one case where I had it hitting the, the, the mist in the, like the, like the secondary mid-ground, you know, semi-background, not quite the sky. I didn't want that. 
that's where you go reach for your, your mask AI tools to, to get rid of areas you don't want. Hope you found the video useful and helpful. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.